Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Ram Aguko. It is a pleasure being with you today. This is Y in the morning right here on your number one news station Y254 TV. And of course, uh, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya, also streaming live through our website. And that's www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. We value your feedback. Engage with us. You're just in time for the next conversation of today. And it's all about matters concerning career your career let's talk about personal branding personal branding what is personal branding how can you be distinct from the rest what can make you stand out what is personal branding what makes somebody look at a particular image and the first thing that clicks is a particular idea what is personal branding and how can you ensure that you use it to better yourself and of course to even make you money if possible. Is it possible for you to brand yourself well? Let's talk about this particular issue. Today I am with George Austin Omanya. He is a, can he is a youth mentor and of course a, 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 a counselor. Karibu sana, uh, George. Thank you so much for you, having me here. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good. I'm it's been good. a while since we, we had a show. I tell you, but I always fully. I'm here yeah. today. <laughs> Thank you. You're doing a good job, my brother. Thank you so much. Huh? How are you? How are you feeling? I feel good. Uh, even if people are lamenting all over, but uh, I think I have all the reasons to say thank you for mm -hmm. another day to yeah. God. Yeah. yeah, it's it's good to say thank you to yes. God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for thanks to the Lord for a new day, a new day, a new dawn. Exactly, a yeah. new dawn. Yeah. Uh, let, let's talk about personal branding. Yes. And of course, uh, even as you do that, the hashtag as always is why in the morning. Tag me at Ram Aguko at Stephanie Ayete. It's my colleague's handle and the official station handle is at Y254 channel. Head over to Facebook, drop in your comments on our Facebook page, like the page, follow, share the conversation, and let us know where you're watching us from. All right. Thank you so much. Let's talk about personal branding. Yep. And of course, this is a conversation that you need to have. And if at all you have a child that is, or, or a youth that is, watch, that, that is here, bring them to the living room. Exactly. Let's talk about this because it will help you. Exactly. Sidio, yes, yes. what is personal branding? Personal branding is a perception. Perception about oneself mm -hmm. and how people know you outside there. How yes. I perceive myself. Exactly. Is my brand. Exactly. And how I make other people perceive me. Exactly. Is my brand. How do <laughs> uh, people know you outside here? Yeah. How do people know Mentor Austin? Uh -huh. If you talk about Mentor Austin, you talk about Safaricom, mm -hmm. you know, a brand. So how people perceive you outside here, that is what we call personal, personal brand. branding. And, and th th there's some people who say, even as, as you talk about, they say, I don't care how people see me. <laughs> I don't care. How you see me is your problem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's a little attitude. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. The picture people have about you outside here can give you very insurmountable opportunities to do with job, to do with other, other stuff, you know? How people know you outside here is very important. In fact, I remember in our language, somebody used to say, tell us, our old uh, grandfather used to tell us that, you know what? Mm -hmm. A good name, a good name yeah, is will, will open for you big doors. In fact, mm -hmm. a good name will bring food on your table. And I didn't know about that till I came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Personal branding is everything. Guys, I'm telling you, if... People perceive you there as somebody who has potential, who has, who has done this, who can do this. You can be trusted with a lot of things. And that is why you, you are in the same class with somebody. Somebody who scored a first class honors degree, but still they are outside here tamaking mm. and saying mm. serikali to say mm. mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. It's very important. Very important. So we should not overlook it and say it doesn't matter. I don't care what people say. <laughs> if, you if, if, you, if you don't care, then uh, you don't belong to the future. Because mm. the future of this country is taken by people whom we perceive yes. are able to take us to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and uh, when, you, when you talk about personal branding, there are some who may say, you know what, I'm not safaricom. Mm -hmm. 
Because, yes, you mentioned, and of course that is just as an example, you mentioned, uh, Safari Come and say, what is the first thing that comes into your mind when you look at a particular person? Yes. How big is personal branding? Mm -hmm. is, it, is it for, for the big corporates, for the mm -hmm. big companies? Does, does Amamamboga yes. also need to have a conversation about personal branding? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that is an amazing question. Personal branding doesn't have limits. It doesn't have limits. Mm -hmm. Whether you are as big as Safaricom or you are as small as Mama Boga there. What we want to know is that are you able to make a difference? Are mm -hmm. you going to add value consistently? You know? If we perceive that today, let's say you have a shop. All right? You have a shop today. And we perceive that, you know, this shop offers quality. Mm. It offers the best. People will come to your shop. You know? So, how you package yourself is very, very important. By the way, that is another issue, especially when you go for interviews. Mm. Do you know why some of us have been going for so many interviews and you don't get scores there? Why? Mm -hmm. It is because, surely, when you step in an interview room, yeah. the first thing I, we will be checking mm. is your attire. How are you dressed? How are you dressed? How do you appear? Mm. Appearance. Mm -hmm. You know? will make people start thinking that this could be a serious person. Mm -hmm. But you get to an interview and, you know, you're shabby, you, you didn't even button up properly, you know, people will start like, were you really ready for this particular interview? And, 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 and where I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm even going to yes. is, is in regards to the, the type of classes that we have in the society. You know, we have middle class, high class, low class. Yes. And, 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 and are you saying that personal branding goes beyond these dimensions of, of, of class or, or, or poverty lines or financial constraints? Mm -hmm. You know, personal branding does not require you to have a surplus mm. in terms of cash or finances. Yeah. Personal branding is the value that you can add. Personal branding is about the difference you can make mm -hmm. in your small way. Regardless of age. Regardless of age, regardless of econo uh, 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 economical class, regardless of age, gender, personal branding is the small value that you can add to make a difference. Wow, wow. Just the small thing that you do every day. Mm -hmm. That is why I tell young people that, you know what, guys, uh, add value to yourself. Mm. Add value to yourself. Mm. Yesterday I had a, um, a youth forum and I was trying to remind these guys, you know we were doing entrepreneurship and I yeah. was trying to remind them, uh -huh, uh -huh. guys, if, you, if, if somebody here went and did a diploma mm. and it is 10 years ago and you've never thought of going back to class to pursue a degree, mm. you are doing injustice to your personal branding. Wow. Because personal branding yeah. is the small growth people can see in you. You mm -hmm. know, today you cannot call me for a show if mm. there is no impact I'm making outside there. Exactly. You can't call me for a show. Yeah, yeah. And that's what people talk, people talk about Menta Omanya. A, Menta Austin Omanya is a brand now. Aguko is a brand because mm. of what people perceive that, okay, you do something small, but you do it consistently. And people can see the value that you add in the society. How can somebody build themselves and specifically yes. build a brand? Wow. That was the question I was expecting, even from the start. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sit there. I take you through this. Yes. Personal branding mm -hmm. is value that is attached to you. So yes. you could be asking me, mm. how can I add my value yes. also to stand at the top? Yes. Can I amaze you? Mm -hmm. Do you know somewhere here, down here, is full of average people? And that is why making a difference becomes a bit difficult. If you tell somebody, a young person who, was, uh, who, just graduate, uh, who has just graduated from a college, you tell them that, you know what, guys, you have to start from here. They will see you like, you know, what are you mm, saying? Mm, Can I go volunteer? They, they what are you saying? You. They don't understand. Yeah. They think from college, from university with my first class honors or second yeah. class upper, mm -hmm. I'm going to get a job. It doesn't work that So you way. come with that perception. Mm. You get it wrong. Actually, let me tell you something. There's something we call self-awareness. 
Self-awareness is the beginning of becoming a brand. Who are you? Mm -hmm. Are you able to ask yourself, who are you? So principles of personal branding, number one, mm -hmm. understanding your purpose. You can never change the world if you don't understand your why. The reason why you are in this world, there are two days that are very important in a human uh, you know, life. One, mm -hmm. the day you are born. That is why we celebrate birthdays. Mm -hmm. Number two, the day you understand who you are. Powerful. Once Powerful. you understand your purpose, mm. and you know, I can do this, and let me start small, but sky is not the limit. i going to go up there. Now, now, now you know, mental Austin Omanya, yes. many, ma ma many youths don't know who they are. Exactly. People struggle with this particular aspect, and I call it self-identity. Yes. It is called identity crisis. Actually, right now, what I even do, uh, the part of mentorship I do in, uh, in universities mm -hmm. is about identity crisis. How do you conquer identity crisis? Self-awareness is a big thing. Somebody is in second year, but they still don't know what they want to become. They are doing a course, BBIT. Yes, you are doing become entrepreneurship, become finance, mm. but they still don't know exactly whom they want to become. Mm. Somebody is in fourth year. And they're still struggling with identity. So you're saying the first thing that you need to, to yes. establish as an individual to yes. build your brand is to first of all establish your identity. Identity. Be self-aware. Where? All right, all right. That is it. Next step? Next step. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there is potential always. In everybody. You have. Mm -hmm. You have your strength. I have my strength. And let me tell you, I can't, I can't compare myself with you I can't compare myself with another person since life is all about, you know, it is like a race. You are on your track, I'm on my track. Mm. I have my strength. You have your strength. But one thing I have to ask myself, if everyone has done a degree, what is going to make me stand out in that interview? What is going to make me stand out in an interview? And I, I think I shared here last time mm. that one thing that made me to, to secure my current job mm. is that I'm the only person who went for that interview. Mm. All of us had masters, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. But they had not registered with a professional body. So I'm the, I was the only person who had registered with the professional body they wanted. Goodness. You see, it, it means what? On top, besides having that masters, mm -hmm. okay? What else have you done? How have you packaged yourself to stand in an interview? And let those guys say, this is the right person we are looking for. What is going to make me unique? So, so, so you're saying we need to be registered, of course, in respect to our different career paths. Yes. If there is a professional body that is associated with your career, register with that professional body. Exactly. Exactly. Do you know right now as we speak, you can, you can go through um, uh, education mm. and uh, you become a teacher. Yeah. But yeah. do you know, on top of securing that certificate for becoming a teacher, you can still not get a job. You have to register with TSC. Exactly. If you are, if you are, if you are doing HR course and there is a professional course called CHRP, Mm. And you have not done that. Mm. It will just remove you nicely from an interview and you will go home. Let us go back to what I was trying to explain. Potential. Yeah. I want every young person to listen to this. Mm. No one was born by accident. Everyone is having something here. There's something you are holding. And that is why anytime you want to pursue a career, what should determine that is what we call Passion and potential. Am I, am I able to do accounts? Mm. Am, I, am I interested in community service? Mm -hmm. Am mm -hmm. I interested in counseling, changing other people's lives? Mm. You know, can I become a nurse? What makes you think you can be the best, you know, journalist? What makes you think? But, but now, uh, mm -hmm. Austin, let me ask you this question. Yes. Because, uh, now, um, I'm wondering, because there is somebody who might be in a position where they are reasoning like this. And yes. I want you to tell me if this is hazardous. Is it positive or negative? To say, I love mentor Austin Omanya. A very good guy. I love his articulation. 
I love his, his presentation. I love his presence. I love his image. I want to be like him. Yes. Does the desire to want to be like yes. affect my personal brand? Is it negative or positive? Uh, it could be positive. It could also be negative. One, mm. it can be positive in this essence. It is good to admire the fruits. Yeah. But again, it is good to study the roots. You know, most of us mm -hmm. want, want, wow. want, want, want Re to... Repeat that again before you... <laughs> <laughs> it is good to admire the it fruits. It is good to admire the somebody. fruits, but it is also good to study the roots. The roots. How do they start? My friend, let me tell you. Yeah. I came to Nairobi in uh, two, 2009. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has taken me to build my brand. This Mr. Austin no matter you see today. Mm -hmm. Like around 10 years. When was the first time you called me for a TV show? I can't if you remember. can remember. When, I can't remember. When, when was it? The first show we had? I, I, it's either last year or last year, but what? Last year, last year. I can't remember. Oh, uh, yes. Now let uh, me ask you. Uh, my first time to appear <coughs> on a television was in 2019. Okay. So just look at that journey. And you see, I, I love youths who will come and ask me, mm -hmm. how did you make it from village to the mentor we can now see on television? How did you make it? You mm -hmm. know, we, we love, we love, but currently what young people love is going through the escalator, lift. Mm. They want lift to take them there. You want to get money very fast A to quick become... Thing, quick uh, thing, quick Micro thing. Micro generations. You know? But have you asked your role model... Mm. The mentor that is around you, how they started, how where did they, did they begin? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. are some of the challenges they experienced on the way? Mm -hmm. And how did they overcome those challenges? It is very difficult to build a brand. Go and even ask Safaricom CEO. They know what it takes to build a brand. People want to know what is the secret. You tips. have to sacrifice to become who you want to become. Mm -hmm. You they, have to sacrifice. They don't want to know about the roots. They want to find out. They just want five to admire to and eat it. the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but now yeah. you're saying is it hard, you're saying it is 50 50 to want to be like somebody yes if you want if you admire austin mentor austin mm. it is good because it is going to push you to do something yeah because you yeah. also have to uh, you know like vision putting our vision is is is, is something very 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 nice why because vision tells you where you want to be. When I grow up, I want to become this person. I want to talk like Dr. Miles Monroe. By the way, that was my, uh, my mentor. Especially when he came to Kenya. The, and then the following week he died. I felt very bad. I met him. And I told him, you know what? I've mm -hmm. read your book. Mm -hmm. The Principles and Power of Vision. I read that book. And that is the book that changed my mindset. Wow. You know? So it is good also to, to, to admire the mm -hmm. fruits. But... Again, you have to think about the roots. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. First of all, it comes by your perception. Perception can tell you where you want to go. Mm -hmm. Then you now start, where do I begin from? Mm -hmm. So it is also good, you know, to admire okay. the fruits. Mm -hmm. and, but again, you mm -hmm. take care of the roots. But now, what about my personal branding? Now, as you admire this person, you know, you know we, we mostly tend to be like those people we admire. Yes. I, I don't know if, if you've seen that, such cases. Exactly. Where you see somebody, if, for example, let me give it, uh, let me give myself as an example. Because I, I admire somebody, I, will, I may tend to talk like them, present like them, yes, yes. walk like them, uh -huh. you know, uh, I, 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 even dress like them sometimes. Yes. Uh -huh. Which is okay. That's okay. That's okay. Doesn't affect personal branding. Th that's okay. But again, if, if you've realized, that is why we were talking about self-awareness, mm. that every human being, if, even if you are twins, you are unique in, in your, your own, way. own way. You are unique. So the issue of copy-pasting, mm -hmm. one, it, mm. we can, it can also uh, you know, uh, narrow you from tapping your full potential. Mm. You know? But again, if you want to be an eloquent speaker like so-and-so, uh, um, uh, you mm. know? You can do that by practicing until you get there. It is okay. But again, I don't tolerate copycat. Copycat. Co co no, mm. no, 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 no. Mm. Don't copy and paste. Mm. 
mm. because you are unique. And that way. uniqueness is why you are born down here. So that you can help the world also to, to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if you want to be like mentor Austin, it is good. If you want to speak like me, it is okay. It is okay. But again, what else is remaining in your nerves? How unique can you do it? Do you mm. think you can do better than me? Yes. Do you think you can be a good presenter than Aguko? You can. Mm -hmm. Omanyala is now the fastest runner in, the, in, 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 uh, in, in Africa. Do you think there's someone who can run faster than Omanyala somewhere here? There are. There are so many people. But these guys have not realized exa exactly what they are holding. So that is why I talk about potential as my second point. Uh -huh. I wanted to go to number three. Go to number three? Th planning. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about <laughs> ways of building your personal brand. Exactly. How we can build it. Number exactly. three, planning. planning. You see, a journey of a thousand kilometers begins by one step. Just one step. You may not be where you want to be today. Yeah. And you may even think you are a failure. Because you may be trying this, it is not working. You are trying that, it is not working. But can I amaze you? Mm. That if you know the plan, the other day there was a Ferrari rally. I love Safari Rally so much, uh. especially the guy that reads uh. the navigator, you know? Yeah. He, he tells you, speed up, speed up, 200 meters, turn, left, you know? Things of the kind. Uh, I that, love that. That's what they, they do, is it? Yes, that? that's what they do. You okay. ask is to drive. Uh. I'm supposed to be, you know, reading for you, telling you that there's a portal here, you are, there's a corner on the left, there's a sharp corner, actually. So, if you don't have a vision plan, a vision plan, a plan that you made. You know, just the same way when you want to start a business, mm. you must have a business plan. Yeah. By the way, yeah. for your information, the main reason why so many businesses will start and fail is because they don't have a plan. My friend, if you want to go today to Mombasa, you have to prepare for the journey. You have to know how much it takes to go to Mombasa, mm. how you are going to get that money, and then you go for the ticket. And then you be at the bus stop at the right time. You know, mm -hmm. I love the trains and the aircraft. They will not wait for you. Mm, <laughs> Once move. they start, yeah. they will move, okay? <laughs> so you have to be there. You have to be punctual there. Then you board the train. And then that is taking you to a destination. Even on the way, along the way, there are things you need to do. So when you talk about personal branding, you have to plan and know where exactly do I want to go? Whom do I want to become? Wow. That is what I did. Mm. I, start, I told you I came to Nairobi with a Form 4 certificate mm. that today has been transformed almost to a PhD. Form 4 certificate. Mm. And I, I, I told myself, yes, I can do this. I can do this. Yes, no one, is, no one is there to take me to college. No one knows me in Nairobi, so I can't do fundraising. But I have a vision. I have a dream. And this dream can only come to pass if I say, let me face my giants, let me face my Goliath and start dissecting it one at a go. You have you know, a plan. One step. Yes, mm -hmm. you must have a plan. Mm -hmm. Then from there, see, mm -hmm. I went to do a, 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 a P1. P1 mm -hmm. is for primary teaching. Yes, and I could not even afford the money to pay for my school fee. Imagine. Wow. And that is why I talked to the principal and he told me you could be milking the cows. Milk the cows. You are milking cows. I was milking the cows. I was, I was camping the, the flowers, uh, you know, uh, grass, you know, and the, the shambas there. And I told him, as long as you can transform, uh, you know, transfer my pay to my school fee, I'm going to do it because I knew what I really wanted. At, le at what level were you at again? P1. P1, P1. is primary teachers, yes, yeah, in the teacher's training college. Oh, teacher's training college. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 all right, all right. Yes. So at the, uh, at the TTC, you are... Uh, I was milking, milking cows to go to class. To go to class, and the pay goes to your school. Fees. Exactly, exactly. Wow. I I knew one day, one day, if God gives me, uh, you know, um, life to live another day, uh -huh. I knew whom I wanted to become. And even this mental Austin that you see here mm. is not a finished product. Um, I still have. I'm like halfway. All right. So. We have number three. Can yes. you, I, I want to move to the next one. Um, do you have a, a, a number for something that you number can four. add again? Number four yeah. is what we call possibility. You see, sometimes 
Well, you want to become a brand, and you, you, you think this is not possible. I can't be like Aguko. Mm. I can't be like, you know, self-limiting beliefs is what has derailed our brands. Mm. Because you think you cannot be there. Why do you think you can't be the top footballer in this country? Why do you think you can't be the top politician in this country? Why do you think you can't be the top scientist in this country? You look at your background, you, how things ah, yes. are, and then you're like, yeah. ah, I don't think this, I, might, I, I this is a pipe think, dream. This can't work. I yeah. don't have money. Yeah. By the way, a young, man, a young man came to me yesterday and they were telling me, yes, I wanted to go back to college, but I don't have money. Then I had to tell him my case. Mm. But even my degree, I registered, I had 6,000, and I took 1,500 to register. I didn't know where that money was going to come from. Did I finish? I finished. And I didn't have a fundraising. What do I mean? There is possibility, there is light at the end of the tunnel. As long as you tell your brain that it is possible, it is possible, I can do this, it will give you the passion of pushing yourself to the next level. You know, because sometimes you look at yourself and you get discouraged. You know, you, sometimes we even discourage ourselves. Exactly. Like, so who am I to do it? Exactly. And, 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 Especially if you hang around with people who does not know your value. Do you know mm. there are guys who will tell you when Mjinga? Mm. And you believe it. In fact, repeatedly, if you are told yes. you are not good, you mm. don't look good, you are poor, we don't want you here. Those, you know, and then you put it in your mind. And, and then the, you say... And they say, people from your home, no one has ever done it. Who are you to do it? Exactly. Your father <laughs> dropped out of school. Your mother didn't even make it. Your brother, you know? <laughs> well, a question, you know? Ah. Such things. One thing I believe in, ah. and that is why, you see, this. I think this attitude, sometimes uh, it appeared... Uh, especially to people who knew me from uh, Ushago, mm. it appeared like I was of ambitions. Mm. This boy could be very of ambitions, yeah? But today, that the same, same attitude yeah. is being recommended in the society. And we call there, come and talk to our children, come and tell them this. Let me tell you, till you realize that you, are, you can do it and sky is not the limit, mm. you will be stuck where you are for a long time. Doing the same thing over and over again with the same method madness madness <laughs> total, madness. total madness but we are here to encourage somebody yeah who think they are failures my friend you're not a failure you know mm. what it is better to try and fail than not trying at all because somebody who has tried yes even though you failed okay but you are not as the same person who didn't even try now, um, Mahenta Omanya, yes. let, me, let me get it from you. There's something that you've said here, and um, it, 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 it makes me want to find out more about it. You, you, you mentioned personal branding, and you mentioned identity. Yes. Now, is personal ident uh, identity and personal branding, are they different? Mm -hmm. When you say personal identity, yes. personal branding, yes. my personal brand and my personal identity, are yes. they different? Good. Uh -huh. Anytime you see color green, yes. you'll think about Safaricom. Color green. Mm. Because Safaricom, that perception has gone into your nerves, yes. right? Yes, yes. Now, how will you become a brand if you really don't understand mm. the inward person? Mm. Mm -hmm. The inward person must come first. Actually, I, I, when I talk about personal branding, I first of all emphasize on identity, self-awareness, mm. because it has to start here. You see, if somebody smiles, it starts from inside. Yes. I, that, that's why I always tell people that even if you're a pastor and you come to preach to me and then you touch people and they fall down there, you know, you can chase away demons, mm. but you don't love yourself. Mm. 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 That's a true life. Love begins inside. Somebody who does not love themselves cannot love another person. Personal identity. You can't. You can't. Yeah, yeah. So you have to be aware about yourself. Mm. Work on yourself. And I tell young people, work on yourself. Go back to school. Add value to yourself. Yes, instead of spending three hours on YouTube listening to music that were composed by people like you, some of them are even, uh, you know, uh, below your age. Mm. Yes. And these are the guys you listen to the whole day. 
Is my brand different from my identity? Your brand is different from your identity, but you have to start from identifying who you are to get a brand. Uh, to, so that you can have the right mindset for whom you want to become. Because the brand is whom you want to become. Now, I want us to get even deeper now. <laughs> get deep, get be, deep. Be, I'm be, waiting. Be, 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 because now there is somebody who has gone to an interview and Anajuliza, <laughs> why am I not getting it? Ha, um, does personal branding affect the outcomes of job interviews? Mm -hmm. Does it? It, it does. How, In fact, how, almost how does 100%. It, how, how does it affect job interviews? Do you know, right now, if somebody wants to hire you in their firm, Mm. One thing they will want to know about you uh, is uh, if I want to know about you right now, I'll go to your Twitter handle, I'll go to your Facebook account, I'll yeah. go to your LinkedIn account. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. I'll go and see what you've been posting mm. on Facebook. Mm. If you are this one guy who is foul mouth, abusing politicians, mm. left, right, and center, mm. actually, you won't get that job. You want to get that job. The brand you, you yes. left on social media, the footprints Let me tell are now you. following you. <laughs> Let me tell you, in the 21st century, yeah. social media is the most powerful branding tool exactly. that exactly. we have. Yeah. If, if you go to my page at Mentor Austin Omanya, look at what I post there. Because I also even want my children and my grandchildren, one day when they will be looking at my page, then they said, there lived a mentor. They should search your name. Yes. And find something admirable. Exactly. Something that can add value. But you know, young people, they spend a lot of uh, time in, in social media. And what they post is maybe when they are eating food they perceive Mm. is uh, a bit expensive. <laughs> they perceive. post that. <laughs> we were in Naivasha and we did this. <laughs> uh, to go Vasha, to go what? Uh, eh? You know, those things. My friend, let me tell you, if a uh, job, your uh. job, getting a job, especially in Nairobi right now, it's all about personal branding and networking now. Yeah. Yes, mm. how you package yourself. Mm. That is why I'm telling young people, if you're a rapper today, rap. Rap and keep posting. Mm. Keep posting. Mm -hmm. Yes? If you're a mentor today, do it. Start with one person, second person, like that. Like that. One D, one D, somebody will even, you'll get a, one call, just one call, that will change the, you know, your life from zero to hero. Yeah. Yeah. So that is why it is very, very important to remind young people that personal branding and Job opportunities, part and parcel. Now, there is something you mentioned there. And, and, and you've said that keep on posting. Consistency <laughs> yes. is, is a big problem. <clears throat> because somebody uh, today um, has that morale and the, and, and, and the, and the psych to, mm -hmm. to go online. And uh, that's when they'll make those TikTok videos, yes, post yes. them on social media, mm -hmm. Facebook, and, 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 and whatnot. How can somebody ensure that they are consistent mm -hmm. in their branding so that they don't lose touch with the people? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Consistency is the key. Mm. And uh, guys, you don't need magic to be consistent. Okay? Mm -hmm. Why? If you post something, and it is something that can add value. I know sometimes you not even get likes and you'll be discouraged. Mm. You say, ah, today let me not post something. Mm. I, I, I do writings, I, I'm, uh, inspirational, uh, you know, text like each morning. And then there was a time I was thinking like, ah, people are, the feedback I'm getting, people are blue ticking you, you know. They blue tick. <laughs> and you're like, Quan, did I away and offend these guys? No, no, no. <laughs> they read <laughs> and they actually share. They, I, I came across one of your, uh, of actually not one, many. Hey, hey. And they were shared by people who I, I believe uh, are not mutual friends. Uh -huh. Yes, you see, because those guys don't like, uh, like tell you direct that thank you or mm. you know. But they, blew, they, but they read and keep quiet. Exactly. Do you know those guys could be sharing your writing somewhere, your video somewhere? The way yes? I came across and those. Yes, the way you came across mine. Mm. You know, sometimes, <laughs> let me tell you, be consistent. 
Do one thing till people know you for that. What if you run out of ideas and that is still your brand? How can you run out of ideas uh -huh. and yet there is a, a lot of problems in the world? <laughs> there's a lot problems are always there and problems are the source of ideas we have so many problems ah, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, run yeah. of ideas wow wow wow, wow 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 so this this writer's block you can you can you can you can do you can do blogging as you share with people let me tell you something uh <clears throat> during corona and uh, you know students were back at home mm. and uh, i was like hey we don't know when students are going back to school can i start a program that is when I came up with a program my, uh, dubbed Mind Your Mind. It was a mental health yeah, awareness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, mm. I was even amazed during Corona, I could even uh, get good money. You know? <laughs> I could get good money because you inspire people. And you see, mm. only, okay, students were coming there for, with only 100 bob. Imagine. And then on Wednesdays, I used to do free shows. You see? The world is full of problems, so you can't run out of idea. So mm. that is null and void. Null and void. Out of the box. Don't say that uh, content creation is a challenge because sometimes you, you run out of, out of ideas. Because we have content creators. Be a good reader. Yes. Let me tell Be you. Be a good reader. Young people don't love reading. We spend too much on, on our phones. Mm. And you spend too much on groups. What's up groups? Zamatanga, Arusi, you know. <laughs> till you even confuse the brain. Yeah. Guys, I, 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 always, I always advocate mm. that, yes, I know there, there are books that you can read online, mm -hmm. which is okay. Yeah. But buy hard, hard copies. That's right. Buy hard copies. It's and better to read hard copies. have a target that every month mm -hmm. I'm going to read a book, at least one book. Give yourself a target. Let me tell you, Real wisdom and knowledge lies in the book. Real wisdom and knowledge. Mm. You know, sometimes when you call me, I don't even need to prepare. Call me, hey, Austin, I want you to go talk about this. Why? Because it is something I'm used to. I read books like crazy. I read books. And that is where real wisdom lies. Wow. Because from reading, you get ideas. From reading, you get ideas. And, and, and from the ideas, you can further build your brand. Exactly. Many don't read. They watch videos online and laugh the whole day and go to sleep. And the cycle continues. And they're losing touch exactly. with their brand. I, I love that. Now, still, on social media, there's this aspect of things taking trends. You end up being a different person online from the true from the person that you are in real life. Is that also possible branding? There are some who say, you know what, the way I am online is different. That is how I want to, people to see me. Mm -hmm. What's your thought in regards to that? All right. It is okay. We took a ground to Fauta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ground is different. Uh, guys, uh, let me tell you. Uh, be the person you are. Be the person you are. I have issues with people who want even to change their colors. I have people with uh, issue with people who want to do even tattoos for people to see them. That is not being real. Mm. Be your own story book that even you you can read, you can read. and other people can read and find the real meaning of who you are. Let me tell you something. Mm. I know people want to look good in social media. This is good. Even me, I want to look good. Mm. And I've never seen people posting their, you know, awful memories. I, 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 people will always post the good posh cars, yeah, yeah. good houses, mm -hmm. good children. You know, they're doing good things there. It is okay. But again, are you real on the ground? You know, if today you want to give me a project to run, and there is something I've been posting there, and you see, eh, Austin can do this, right? Mm. And then you only, only to come and realize that I don't even have a company. Mm. Yeah. I don't have a trade tool. Yes. And yet, I post this and that on social media. Mm. Let me tell you, be as real as possible. If you look at my, I, at my page, I will never post food. 
I will not post Austin, myself. Austin, you will talk about food. Yeah. Abul, Abul, let's go back. <laughs> just, just, let's, let's rewind and come back. Do you have an issue with food? I have <laughs> an have issue with food. Look, look food. here. Uh, uh, was it yesterday? Uh. I, I, I told one of my fans that, you know, mm. I'm really tired of you posting <laughs> yourself eating pizza, a chicken, <laughs> and drinking. Why? You know? <laughs> I'm tired of this. Why? Why? Can you think beyond food? <laughs> yeah. And you are not a lawyer. Why don't you think beyond food? Ladies are going to bash you. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> it, it means, uh, by the way, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. If somebody normally puts, uh, you know, uh, food and those little things, mm. they have problems in their mind. <laughs> they are not problem solvers, actually. They are liabilities of the highest order. If you have a girlfriend of that sort... Hey. Tell them to come and see me, or you just <laughs> uh, tell them to stay away. Uh, because they are not taking you anywhere. You are not heading anywhere yeah, with such mentality. Po posting food. People are thinking big. <laughs> think big. And think like a problem solver. And uh, what about posting, uh, okay, nails, you know, they, they, they uh, uh, ladies, don't kill me after this, <laughs> but they, they, they post nails, nee, nee, nee. Yeah. Uh, what about that? <laughs> I, I think that, that's still poverty mindset. Hey. That is still poverty mindset. Uh, yes, uh, I don't have any problem with you uh, posting even your good legs. I don't yeah. have problem with that. Uh. But what impact will it, you know, once I see it, mm. what value will it add in myself? It's useless to personal branding. It is useless, very useless. Unless <laughs> you are posting that uh. to attract to who customers, to tell them, this is my work. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is what I do. Yes. Okay? Yes. I'm a manicurist. Uh, exactly. I do pedicure, I do manicure. Unless you are advertising something, mm. please keep uh, some, some of the things to yourself. All ah, right. Ah, ladies, we must You're strong. Now, let's talk about... <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about <laughs> attire. Yes. Dress code and personal branding, my brother. Very important key aspect, I believe so. If you look at um, some gentlemen, they say that uh, it's good to put on a suit because it is part of your brand. Others say they cannot put on a suit because the casual wear is their brand. While there are those who say that even if you're, you're putting on so much of your suit, sometimes change to, 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 to casual wear. To the ladies, you have the Vitenge type ladies, we have the short skirt ladies, we have the official uh, ladies, and of course the casual uh, type kind of ladies. Mm -hmm. How important is the dress code mm -hmm. in regards to personal branding, wow. even as you give the perspective of the gender? Very good. Mm. Wonderful question. The way you appear, first appearance, mm will make people perceive you yes. as idiots or as somebody who can add value to the society. Mm. Let me tell you something. I don't have issues. OK, dress as the, the way you want. Uh. I don't have issues with your dressing. Yeah, say, my, my dress, my choice. My dress, my choice. Uh. No problem. Yeah. Let that rendition go. Mm. But let me ask you, what kind of dressing will earn you respect, will, 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 will um, you know, put perception in people that this guy is serious. Mm. I don't say you dress on suit because, you know, every career has their dress codes. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't be an engineer. <laughs> you are up there and you are on a tie. On a tie. You know? Mm. If somebody does not know how to dress smartly and when i talk about dressing i mean even your hair your hair how, how kept is your hair your hair the 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 rasters the so the rasters you know rasters will always uh, have uh, so many barriers eh? limitations mm. when it comes to job recruitment real recruitment yeah. and rasters can only now get jobs that could go with like dj social media, things of the kind, you know? Okay. <laughs> because people perceive that, you know, there was that perception, uh. especially in Kenya. 
that you know uh, rastas are you know they could be criminals you know things of the kind mm. but I, I don't think that but that position anyway is going but, but, but I, I, going, I, I feel it's going. changing now it is changing. It's changing it is changing mm. because I even know our rasta who is a very good lawyer very powerful lawyer mm. a very powerful lawyer mm. that perception is changing mm. the the real thing is guys you just need to look simple and smart look the part look the part look the part you are here young people i have problems with young people these mm. hairstyles i don't know where they got it from mm. but you're just copying somebody's do it or you what you just copy somebody's hairstyle and do you know your hairstyle can deny your job your hairstyle does the haircut also matter you someone makes a road here between Fa funny funny the, uh, those uh, funny, an funny. expressway exactly <laughs> <laughs> You lose. You lose the touch. Yes? You yeah. lose the touch. I'm saying this. If you want to talk about your brand, think about how you appear. Physically, mm. socially, morally, even spiritually. Think about how you appear. Even how you talk. You know, what comes out of your mouth can make people listen to you or disrespect you. Mm -hmm. Yes? Those are personal branding. I Actually, communication communication skill is part and parcel of personal branding. Should somebody keep on changing official, casual, official, casual, semi-casual? Is, 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 is It depends with the kind of job you do. Right. Mm -hmm. Like where I work, you can never go with that. We are always on suits. Mm. Yep. <laughs> so <laughs> it depends with where you work. Mm. But I'm, I'm not denying somebody a chance of dressing the way they want. But dress code always go with events. Let's talk about the ladies. Yes. So, because that's for the men, yeah? That's for, no, that's for all of us. That's for all of us. All of all us. Right. Right. Now, I don't want to talk about ladies because <laughs> yes. I may be stoned from here. I don't have security. <laughs> Unless I call security from State House right now. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why we are copying fashion so much. Mm. Do you know, I look at a lady dressed in some way and of course i'll know what kind of things goes in their mind you know i'm a psychologist and i can just tell you this one has got mental issues so the dress code of somebody is connected to their mental exactly what they think guys let me tell you something mm. do you know your self-esteem the way you dress can tell me about your self-esteem. Mm. That you are suffering. You are at low self-esteem. Mm. Low self-esteem there. Why should you expose your body? The, the things we call private. Mm. Yes. Why should you expose your body? And yet, tomorrow, you won't be at the top there. Who will buy your brand? How exposed is uh, exposed? I've just talked about the, the parts of the body mm. we consider as private. Yes. You know from here, mm. from here, mm. up somewhere here, mm. it's called private. And mm. then down there. Mm. All right? But now, because you are coping the trends and the fashion of this world, you lose the person you want to become. If you want to become a DJ, no problem. Mm. Dress like a DJ. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to become like um, the best corporate trainer, like what I do, corporate training, yes? Mm. Mm. You have to be serious. You have to dress serious. You appear someone and then, you know, you appear someone and then people say, yeah, this could be the right person. Dress code is very, very paramount. Wow. Very paramount. Mm -hmm. Dress simple, and smart and don't copy the trends of the world mm. simply because people are copying yes yeah but know who exactly you are and where you want to go with that brand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, 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 I love the fact that you're saying um dress the part yes. be the part exactly. and and be yourself exactly. You know, be yourself, and, and 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 of course, I would I would like you to ask your questions even as you continue with this particular conversation. The hashtag is, is why in the morning, 
at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel is where you can be able to find us. And of course, uh, head over to our Facebook page that is at uh, Y254. Like the page, follow us uh, as we continue this conversation and uh, we shall be able to sample your feedback a bit later on during this conversation. And of course, uh, 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 let's take a look at what people are saying on social media. I'm seeing Stanley and Asama uh, enjoying the show, loving the show. Thank you so much, uh, Austin, for the inspiration. Thank you. Uh-huh. Can I find All right. Uh, let, me, let, let me go to Facebook and see there uh, what people are saying there. Brenda and Asama enjoy the show from Gong. I know Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> you know Brenda. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Ernest. And I'm loving the show. Love, uh, I love the show. Keep doing what you're doing. Wow. Santa Sana. Mm -hmm. This is uh, CMB. Cool guy. And I'm loving the show. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm seeing Ambane. And I'm tuned in from Muranga. Uh, Diana. And I'm uh, enjoying the show. Loving it. Thank you so much, Austin. Thank you so much. Hype Amo, Nakwana Pale. Smart Born, Nakwana Pale. Uh, present as usual. They know G. Wali and Asama uh, to watch Pale. Asante Sana. Uh, Richard Macau. Good morning. Asante Sana. Thank you so much, Richard. Dusan uh, uh, Cruz. And Asama and Atu are tuned in. Kamakawa, Kamadawa. Asante Sana. Keep talking to us. Uh, uh, the hashtag is always in the morning. Uh, this is uh, Fidel. Fidel. Asama. Uh, Enjoying the show, keep talking to us. Uh, Mr. Mentor Austin Omanya, hmm. uh, you're doing a very fantastic job. Wow. Wow. Mm. Asana I'm happy. Sana. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Kazi Safi. Kazi Safi. Kazi Safi. I tell people that, you know, you, 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 you only need to do small things mm. that make sense even so many years to come. Yeah. Go ahead with what you wanted to say. Now, um, let me ask you this question here. There's somebody mm -hmm. who has asked this. Uh, I'm reading. Do, do you need a target market when building your brand? Mm -hmm. Once you know them, how do you strategize? Somebody has asked that question. Wow, that, that should be somebody who had been in a marketing class. Uh, That's a very good question. Uh -huh. You should. You should have a segmentation of your target audience. I call them audience. Mm -hmm. Who is, whom are you targeting out there? Like majorly, most, I mean, I target youths. Yeah. Both male and female. Uh -huh. I also target children, adolescents. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. up to there. Uh -huh. So, it is always very, very <clears throat> vital. Mm. As, as, as you are bring, uh, you know, building your brand. Mm. See, I told you, you make a plan. Mm. Plan. Mm. You remember yeah, our, yeah. Our part of our was uh, planning. Yeah, eh? Planning, yes. Part of your planning, what your planning should in, uh, inform is whom am I targeting with my brand? Mm. Whom am I attracting? Who are your clients? Whom do you want to serve? Because you can't serve every Tom, Dick and Harry in the society. So get, are, get to know who your target is. Exactly. And then work from there. Then work from there. If you, if, if you think your call is children, work with children. Yes, children is your market now. Yes, if it is youth, if it is women empowerment like that. So it is very, very important. The, the, there's a question here from, uh, this is uh, Margaret, <coughs> Magia and Asema. Mm -hmm. um, I love makeup, I'm a makeup artist, yes. but I do not know how best I can brand myself online. Mm -hmm. uh, can I answer that? That is very easy. Mm. I don't know whether Maggie is on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Maggie is on TikTok. Maggie is an, uh, you know, uh, FB, you know? Once you do a client and the client is happy, right? Mm. Just take maybe a picture. Take a picture of what you do or mm. a small clip of what you do. Let people know that you are the best in that area. Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Because how will people know if they don't see? You know, mm. what we see is very important, by the way. Exactly. It, re exactly. it reads in the mind the very fast. The perception you create. Very fast, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, Maggie, make sure your online presence is noticed by what you post. 
Keep mm. posting them. Keep posting them. Yes, and share with as many groups as possible. You can even share with my account. I help you to market. How can they share with your account if somebody has content and uh, Mentor Austin Omanya, yeah. my Facebook account. Go there. Take a take a. Yes, and I, I by the way, I they are, they are friends I want to I want to <laughs> discard. Eh? I mm. want to delete from, <laughs> <laughs> from because what? these are guys who have who have, who have uh, they have not shown uh, value addition to being my friends there. They yeah, request yeah. you to become their friends, uh. and there's there's no value addition. So I create space for people whom I think uh, you know may, may may like what I do. You know, birds of oh. the same feather flock you, together. Did you reach your limit? Yes, at five thousand. So now you, you can only cool. follow me. So uh, when I have time, I delete hmm. some friends whom I, yeah, uh, yeah, me you know, too. I some are, are even dead. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I take away <laughs> that space so that I can, I can get space for others. Uh, but, but there's something that uh, has, has just come across my mind. Yes. There, there are those who um, do dancing. They dance online. Is, uh, is that branding also? Uh, is dancing your career? You have to ask yourself, uh, is your career dancing? Because you only showcase your brand. If somebody is dancing or hanging and showing people her mad god, mm. yes, mm. and yet they don't know how to sing. Okay, they they don't have uh, you know singing is not part of their career. Mm. Those people are just they have a problem with mm. their mind. They are not using social media to empower them. Mm. Austin, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. I believe that uh, we've managed to. Uh, uh, Pass a message to somebody. Yes. I want to give you time to have a final word, just within 30 seconds, yes. about this issue, about personal branding, imaging, and uh, professionalism. Um, talk to somebody watching you today. That's your camera. Wow, thank you so much. I want to speak especially to young people whom think, you know, life has pushed them to the wall. Guys, the person you are today is not the person you would want to become in five years to come or 10 years to come. But as long as you start from where you are at the moment, sky is not the limit for you. Work on yourself. Improve on yourself. If you have a talent, try to improve on that every day. Guys, I tell you this, that any day that God has given you, make sure you be accountable for that day. Work on yourself. Try to improve your talent by watching, uh, you know, a YouTube channel, by following people who can add value to you, because you can. Once I know whom I look like, and you look at the, 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 the mirror and you say, this is the person I wanted to become, then mm -hmm. go outside there mm -hmm. and network with the right people that can also make you, you know, network with other great people outside there. Yeah. Getting a degree is not enough. Getting a diploma is not enough. Having that certificate will not take you somewhere if you don't know how to brand yourself. Work on your CV. And if you still have problems in doing a professional CV, you can always meet me. Go to my YouTube channel, Mentor Austin Omanya. That is my YouTube channel. My Facebook account is Mentor Austin Omanya. LinkedIn name is George Austin Omanya. You can meet me there. Then I can help you also to do your CV so well, such that when you present it somewhere else, where you are not present at that moment, somebody can say, this is the right person we are looking for. So keep improving, keep working on yourself, and sky is not the limit for you. And I want to leave you with a quote. All right. One day somebody said this, mm. that strength does not come from physical capacity, mm. but from indomitable will. Mm. Your willpower will take you places. Thank See you, you so next much. time. Thank that you. is mentor Austin Omanya. Ah, my brother. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you uh, so much for inviting me. I, I, I believe we've uh, managed to influence somebody yes. positively. Mm. And of course, if at all you've, uh, you, you were listening, I believe you've learned something today. That brings us to the end of this morning conversation right here on Wine the Morning on this particular segment on Career Talk. I was with mentor Austin, uh, George Austin Omanya. He is a counselor and a mentor right here in studio. A big thanks to you. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Ram Aguko. It has been a pleasure. Now, Jeff Bezos said one thing that uh, I don't know if it's Jeff Bezos. Uh, I, I believe it, him. it is him. He said that your brand is what people say about you when you are not in the room. Exactly. Exactly. Think about that. Yes. My name is Ram Magugo, as I said.
The hashtag as always is why in the morning. We are taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. Wow. Thank you.